Hey everybody, Michelle is here on this, I think it's Wednesday, May the 1st, 2024. Can you believe it? Another month has gone by. Wow. You know, uh, it's really beautiful out here. You know, I mean, of course the air is a bit, you can tell the, bit, the air is heavy. You know, it's heavy, you know, because we got all these vehicles out here. We have all these people out here, all these businesses, blah, blah, blah. So I, th I uh, have a lot of things to do, and I thought I'd get out and about and handle my business. I'm going to get some more glasses at some point, these glasses. I've had these glasses for so long. But, you know, for me, if it ain't, if, you know, if I can still see, you know, and read, I mean, I usually hold on to a pair of glasses for years upon years. But I think I want another pair and make sure that they have, you know, they properly support my eyes. And plus, you know, the last time I went to the eye doctor, he he actually told me my eyes have improved. So you'd be surprised what your body can do for you if you you know if you take care of yourself properly and you and, and be and be, and you you know use precautions about your health. You know, wear proper glasses, wear proper clothing. I know a lot of people get all up bent out of shape about what they're wearing and this and that the other I am too I'm a little you know I get a little um what's the word concerned about where what I'm wearing because you know I want to I want to be presented properly that's there's nothing wrong with being presented properly and to be dressed properly you know and uh to you know present a good image of myself so anyway uh, I decided to get out and about and handle some business you know, and enjoy the moments and, you know, re be, re be reflective and be thankful. That's the main thing, be reflective and thankful. Because it's so important to, uh, as I want to advocate, to trust yourself and protect yourself. And, and that's the type of energy you will find in everyone else. People will protect you. People will support you, you know, um, and I told you, a lot of people go out of their way to um, say hello to me, you know, be friendly to me, because that's the kind of energy I put out, and it is all about the energy, the energy of your thoughts. So, a lot of stuff is being said about how people are moving around, how people want to build their own cities, they want to build, do stuff on the ground. They want to, you know, a lot of people are just attempting to find their space, you know, in this crowded, crowded world. And what they're going to re realize is there is no place to go necessarily where you're going to find ample space for this or that and the other. Uh, I, um, I support people uh, searching for safer places to live, safer p places to uh have your families, animals, your property, or whatever. I support that 100%. And that's what's going to happen. A lot of like-minded people are going to decide to be together. They're going to be decide to be together and be able to support each other together. Because one person cannot run a planet without the help of others. So it's important that a lot of people get, uh, I guess, are getting offended when people want to um, separate you know but if we did not interfere with so many cultures back in the day I know our lives will be so much better so much richer a lot of prosperity you know it would be so it would be equal because a lot of people just want equality it doesn't mean that we need to all be together and get along and, and, and you know and sing and hold hands that's illogical because we all ought to be with whoever we want to be with. We don't need government or we don't need uh, any interference as to how we are supposed to live and be together. Some people just want to be with people that they're comfortable with, that they feel safe with, that when they look in their face, they look like each other. What, what's the problem with that, really? But we make everything about it. We make everything about what it actually is. We, we, we put more... We put more uh, information out than that's logical. 
that e that even makes sense. You know, there's nothing wrong with men wanting to be with men. You know, women wanting to be with women. As long as we're equal. But anytime, anytime people of color attempt to get together and want to be together and resolve our own issues, there's always interference. There's always a fear. Okay, what are they thinking about? What are they planning? So there's a lot of paranoia. You know, people are paranoid. That's not going to go away. So that's why you have to do things where no one has to know. Unfortunately, there will be, again, um, people doing their own thing, doing things underground. You remember when music was underground back in the day? You know, people had underground music, underground creativity, just so that people can feel safe in their environments and trust the people that are around them. I don't. I, I think if people look at things logically, with some reason, they'll realize it's not about separating races of people, or separating genders, or separating this or that and the other. It's about feeling safe, feeling connected, you know, having some like-mindedness, and um, and being able to be who you are, and support who you are, and love who you are. And also wishing that upon others. It's about the energy of your thoughts. So if you want equality, well, you know, if you if you say out of your mouth that you want equality, well, it has to be displayed in your behaviors and actions. And that has not been the case for thousands of years, hundreds of years. People are not walking the talk. Again, I'm an advocate for women. I have no issues having exclusively women as my uh, like-mindedness. Okay, but does that mean I hate males? Okay, and that's illogical and that's not true at all. So, I love who I am. And I want to... And, it, and I also allow others to love who they are. I have no issues with anyone wanting to be together with like-mindedness. Whether it's by gender, by color, by whatever. It's, it's an illusion and a lot of people just do not want to accept this that we all ought to be together and that we all need to you know be forced together that's an illusion to, to, to which to you know because it just creates superficiality all right we're going in there laughing and, and grinning and carrying on and we don't you know we, we don't know anything about these people you know and you know is this we're just creating unnecessary social anxiety because we're trying to force everybody to get along, forcing everybody to be together. That's that's just illogical. What we need to be forcing is equality for everyone, and especially equality for women. Women are the ones that are not uh, uh, benefiting from equality. That's why I advocate for biological women. Okay, so does that mean I'm... Uh, anti anti biological men? No, I'm not. I am advocate for women. I'm an advocate for girls. I'm an advocate for uh, daughters, nieces. That's what I'm an advocate for. And the safety, more so, the most important thing is just the, just the safety of women. You know, women are being terrorized and bullied and harassed especially online that's why i wish a lot of i mean at some point a lot of women will get offline and start getting into you know like-minded groups of safety like-minded communities of safety you know just like-mindedness to elevate our consciousness to elevate our our experiences you know and just to enjoy each other and enjoy each other's company it's not about sexuality, and a lot of people like to make it as such. And that's the deviancy and degeneracy that usually comes from males, unfortunately. So I would wish all males would get together and somehow figure out how you could resolve your issues. Your issues are not women's issues. Women cannot resolve the issues of men. And therefore, men, but yet men attempt to, to uh, uh, resolve issues of women. They're always interfering with the, the with the, uh, with the, uh, the pro you know, the woman because they see women as property, and men do not see women as equal, no matter what they say or do. So just pay attention to the contradictions, see how you can 
find a way for everybody to, you know, get a uh, get a grip and understand it is more than what's being said. Get offline, get out in your communities, and figure out what you can do to make things easier because you need women, okay? And you want to protect the children. You want to protect protect uh, girls and boys, all you know, all walks of life, so they can enjoy this experience because it is wonderful to know that you have free will and that no one's interfering because this is gonna take forever before you know government or whoever they are in these pyramid scheme. I mean, pyramid. Uh, realities to stop spying on us stop listening to our conversations stop bothering us and harassing us that's going to take forever and a long time for that to to be possible unfortunately so i just want to give you a word of encouragement to to um not listen to some some of this narrative out there of, and being concerned about people you know wanting to be together that that's natural now what's going to come back and haunt a lot of people are the ones that are hoarding stuff you know, whole hoarding materialism, hoarding real estate, hoarding money, hoarding resources. That's coming back to haunt a whole lot of people. Because earthquakes, volcanoes, you know, can care less about how much money you have in the bank. And a lot of people are going to figure that out the hard way. So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Let me get out, handle my business, and trust me, I'll be back.